Hello, Bishop Justice. Yes, hello there. Um, this Bishop Justice School. It is Bishop Justice, yeah. In Bromley. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, I was wondering, are you guys are you, are you guys open now? Have you have you guys opened your school now? Or are you guys still closed? We're, we're open. Thank you. Oh yeah, oh, you're nice. open now. We are open. Yeah. Yes. So basically, you know, I have a young boy. I want to put in your school now. I'm thinking maybe you know I can re- register him in the school. Right. Okay. What year is he in now? So I believe it's going to be in year seven now. You can put his name on the waiting list. Um. Because, because you just just, just, I'm, just, I'm just came sure. out of just came out of hospital now. You had coronavirus. We've got um yeah, so we've got like a medical room, but we isolate anyone that's got symptoms in, and then obviously we have to send them home. Yeah, it's got. I want, I want to bring them to the school so, so you can spread it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so we've got like procedures in place. Yeah, I want, I want, to, I want to spread it to all your students. No. Yes. So okay. what's the number? So the number is oh two oh eight. How do you spell it? So zero two zero eight. Zero two zero zero eight. Eight, eight as in like eight. Yeah. I ate. I ate my breakfast. Yeah. Then three one three. Three one. How do you spell three? Four zero. Four four zero. How do you spell zero? No. Oh. So it's a zero. Four four. Yeah. It's not four four. Yeah. Like four four in a four door. So if you just say that you want to put your child's name on the waiting list for a year seven place. But he has coronavirus. So what school does he go to now? Right now he's at he's at home, he's just lying down here eating biscuits. He has he has coronavirus inside his ears. He has uh, has he been given a positive Yeah they, Have they got a, they, a positive they, they, test? Yes. Right, okay, so they've had a positive I'd, I used cotton board to check inside his eardrums. We found coronavirus inside it, you know, so now... So he's got coronavirus in his, in, in his eardrums, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Well, if he's got, if he's tested positive for the COVID test, he can't come in for 10 days, so he can't come into school. But that's what I'm saying, but his, his brother goes to the school already. And he's got a brother here? Yeah, his brother goes there. And what's his name? Me now. And his same surname? Yes. Oh, I well, I'm thinking, e- so what's going to happen? Are you going to kick the brother out of school now because his brother We're not going to kick the brother out of school. We're going to send your son home and he has to stay at home for 10 days. Uh, if, you're, if you're saying that you want to kick my brother off the school... No, no, I no, no, I no, 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 no. I, did, I didn't say that. If, you're, if your son, Richard, has tested positive for COVID, your other child has to go home for 14 days. To self isolate. We're not to, kicking I, anybody out. I, I, I We're going to send your child home, who's in school at the moment, because your <laughs> other son has tested positive for COVID. But I don't want. I don't want you to miss out on education. Oh, no, that, that's not. That's nothing we can do. We are going what the government is saying. We don't make the rules. We abide by them, unfortunately. <laughs> and this is what the government have said. <laughs> I don't want you to miss out on education. Well, she won't. I mean, that's fine. We, you know, she. Yeah, we can. Uh, you know, you can go on to the, uh, the school website. Uh, I don't want it to miss out on education. Yeah, unfortunately, they're going to. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. They're missing out on education because they're poorly, and we have to think of the other children in the school. I've done a very hard work to send him to school. I'm not, I'm not, no one's saying that you're not, but unfortunately, we can't have your child in school if they have COVID and they tested positive. We've got to think of the health and security of the other students. Nothing is going to go against you. No one's saying that you're not a good dad. We just can't have your son and daughter in school. They're going to fail their can't. exams if they miss out on school. But it, it's 14 days, and that includes Saturdays and Sundays. So that, so they're missing 10 days of school because we, because of the Saturday and Sunday camp also as being days not in school. What do I do? What do I do? Well, they're going to have to stay at home. I mean, you can go and show your homework when they're at home. And we can't find your child on her. The, the, the child, your, your son is called Richard, yes? I don't want to tell you anymore. Well, you've got to tell me that because we need to get your son and daughter out of school for the safety of our students. I don't want to tell you, you anymore. How are 
now you're spelling your surname because we can't... <laughs> The first name is Richard, and what year is he in? I, I don't want to tell you anymore. Well, you can't tell me anymore. I'm so, well, you've got to tell me for the health and safety of other people in our school, our students and staff. But I'm is scared. Seven? I'm scared. Why are you scared? There's no reason to be scared. You're not going to get fined. You're not going to get into any trouble. You've got to think of other students and members of, of this of staff in this school. Because you could shut the whole school down because you won't take your child out for 10 days. That's quite selfish, don't you think? That is really, really selfish. You've got to think of other students in here as well. You're, we need a name from you. We really do. Because it's not fair. Let me speak to my son. Okay. Hold on. Tell me, what do you say for Nick Bilingba? Nick Bilingba, Nick Bilingba. Nick Bilingba, Nick Bilingba, Nick Bilingba. He believe that they in bowling, but by the don't you? I think they can get in trouble. I think they're going to get in trouble because they're going to get fined because they're not in school. But they're saying they've got a sibling here. Hello? 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 Well, you've just told me it is. Yeah, I, do, I just, I just double check now. Just, I just, can I, can I, just... I speak to your son, please? I'll put it on speaker because I've got members of the office with me. So everything you say is going to be heard by other members of the staff. I just, I just, I just check with my son now. It's not coronavirus that he has. I just, I just double check now. It's not coronavirus. No. I'm going to put you in speaker. Can I speak to your son, please? He has chicken pox. Well, how can you go from COVID to chicken pox? He's still got to be off school. He has chicken pox inside his ears. Chicken pots in his ears, right? And what's the name of your child that you've got in the school? What's, can I speak to your son, please? Hold on, let me, I'll give him the phone now. Thank you. Hold on, let me, let me, let me just speak to him again. Hold on. No, can you? Can I just speak to him, please? I'm going to give him the phone, but hold on, thank, I'll, I'll, I'll just speak you. to him first. <laughs> Sorry, hello? Hello? My son still doesn't want to talk to you. Right, so what's the name of your other child that you've got here with us at Bishop Justice? Okay. His name is Libla. How do you spell that? I. Yeah? Where? I. Where? What's the surname of your child? Oh, the son name? Yes. Okay. Is R? Yeah. Really? Oh. Really? Where? I've got R. What's the rest of it? Yeah. Can you put your other son on so he can speak to me and tell me the name of his brother that comes to the school, please? Oh, you want to talk to my son? I, I need to know the surname of your child that comes to the school. All you've given me is R. I'm, I'm giving it, I'm spelling it for you now. Right, go on, so it's R. So it's R. Yeah. V. Well, Z. V. Z, for two. V. V. R, Z. You're really not very clear on this, unfortunately. You're really not being very helpful. I'm, I'm, okay, you, you, you want to give you the name or you want to talk to my son himself? What son? The son that's here? I can give you, I can give the phone to my son now. Well, your son that you've got with you now? Yeah, yeah, my son right. out, uh, is with me now. Let me, let me give him right. the, I'll give him the phone now. Hold, hold on. Let, let, me, let, me, let, let, me, let me just talk to him first. Let me talk to him first. You're going to speak to him again? Yes. Okay. But I'm going to talk to him again. Bati beli mo bani ba bati di beli mo bani ling. Alam ba bim ba bandu ba ba bani ling. Hello. Hello. 
My son said he doesn't want to speak to you. Right, so can you just please give me the surname of your child that comes here? So it's, it's, it's R? Yeah. B. R what? B. Well, what does that stand for? I, I don't understand you, unfortunately. I'm spelling but it for you. It's actually spelling it for you. I'm spelling it for you. Is R? Yeah. B. 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 No, I, I can't. I can hear the R, but I don't understand the rest of the words you're saying. So, so let's so, so let's just leave it and let let my son continue going to your school. Then let's let's there's nothing to worry about. He hasn't got his chicken pox that he has in his eardrums. It's not coronavirus. I've, I just I just clarified it. I need to it. know who your son is. I need to know the name of the child or your son or daughter that comes here. I just told you, but you're not listening to me. You're, I am lis- I am listening to you, but your I what's the child's first name? Please. What's your child? What's your first name for your child? Plea. B. B. Plea. Yeah. B the, the, for, for the, bus. The first name of my child is Plea. B for bus. Yes. Plea. B or D. I'm not spelling it for you. I'm, I'm telling you his first name. Well, spell it for me, please. Okay. So, is D. D. There. D. There. I'm going to push over to the office manager. I'm really sorry. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Hello, dear. Hello, ever so sorry. We're having a slight difficulty with the line there, sir. I understand you have a child here at Bishop Justice with us today. Yes, that's, yeah, that's yeah. correct. And what's your, what's your child's name that is here? Um, His name is Lee. Reed? Lee. No, no. Do you have you have a son there at home with you? I believe. Sir? Yes, 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 Richard. Yeah. Would it be possible for me to speak to him because the line might be a bit clearer? Okay, let me gi- let me give him the phone. Hold on. Let's Thank you very much, okay, sir. Cool. Give him the phone. Hello. Hello, young man. Don't nothing to worry about, darling. I just need you to know what your brother's name is. You're the one that in trouble. Pardon? Nobody's in trouble, sweetheart. I just need to know your brother's name. Hello? Hello? Yes, he doesn't... He's, he's crying. He's very upset now. He made him upset. No, I didn't say anything, sir. So I'm I'm pretty sure I didn't make him upset because I didn't actually say anything, sir. He's crying. Um, it's, it's, what it's, year group is your child in that's in this school, please, sir? He's in... He's in... But uh, he's in... Yeah, he's, I don't know how it works in your school, but... How old is your child, sir? 16. Pardon? 16. 18? 18. 18? 18. 18. That's not a number, sir. Whatever you're saying there is not a number. Is that his age? Yeah, I am having difficulty with with the language here. What I, I'm gonna we'll, we'll do, put a track and trace on the telephone. But what I'd also need you to do, sir, is to email into the school yes. with the details um, of your child that is here at school. Okay, I should I should email it. Yes, please. What's your email? The email address is on the school website, sir. What's the website? Yeah, thank you very much, sir. We'll wait to hear from you. So what's the website? It's it's on the school website, so you would know that if your child came to this school, but sir. I'm trying to, but I'm going to go into my phone now so I can go on the website. But what, what is it so I can do it right away? I beg your pardon? I want, to, I want to do the email right away. So what's the website so I can do it right now? But it's the school website, so it's your child's school, so you would know the website name of the child's school. Is it Bishop's... <laughs> Sorry? I think this is the gentleman I've had before. I think I've had this before. So if you go onto the school website, sir, and then you'll be able to email in. What's the website? It's the Bishop Justice, sir. But um, how do you spell it? Your son comes to this school, so you would have... I know, but I'm I'm very bad with with the English barrier, so how do you spell it? I can write it down. How, How do you spell it? Yeah, so um, we're going round in circles here. But if you, uh, you know, just I really please help me. I don't. I, I'm, really, not, sir, I'm not. I'm not good at English. But 
we're an an extremely busy office. You will have paperwork from our school while I'm on the telephone. No one else, no other parent can actually get through, sir. Please. So what I'm asking is you look at the paperwork, please, Please. that you would have received of a child at this school, and then please please email in. Thank you ever so much, sir. I'm going to end the call now. Goodbye. Please help me out. Please. I cannot believe this. Fabulous. Never seen a belly so fabulous. Miss ah, fabulous. Never seen a belly so fabulous. I want to sit on a fat belly. I want to bounce on a fat belly. I want to swim in a fat belly. School, 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 school. I want to sit on a fat belly. I want to bounce on a fat belly. I want to swim in a fat belly. Miss, ah, fabulous. Never seen a belly 